For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the angle theta between the force and the line AO. First thing you need to do is find the position vectors for all the points involved. So A sits at 1i minus 2j plus 2k and O sits at the origin plus 0k. So vector AO is vector O minus vector A but since O is the origin is negative vector A so it's just the opposite of A minus 1i plus 2j minus 2k. Now you need to find the magnitude of AO and it's calculated by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. When you plug in these three numbers into the formula, you're going to get that the magnitude is exactly 3. Now that you have the magnitude and the vector, you also have the force vector which is negative 6i plus 9j plus 3k. You need to find the magnitude of f which is found with the same formula x squared plus y squared plus c squared. So you plug in these three numbers into the formula and you get that the magnitude of f is 11.22. Now that you have the magnitude of both vectors and the Cartesian vector form of the two vectors you can find the angle between them with the definition of the dot product. So you know that by definition the dot product of AO dot F is the same as the magnitude of AO times the magnitude of F times the cosine of the angle between them. So AO is equal to negative 1i plus 2j minus 2k and F is equal to negative 6i plus 9j plus 3k and that is equal to the magnitude of AO which is 3 times the magnitude of F which is 11.22 times the cosine of theta. So negative 1 times negative 6 is 6, positive 2 times 9 is 18 and negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6. Plus 6 minus 6 cancels out is equal to 3 times 11.22 is 33.66 times the cosine of theta. So you get that theta is equal to the cosine inverse of 18 over 33.66. So theta is equal to 57.7 degrees. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.